I look down, there's blood everywhere. There's blood on the seat, there's blood all over my jeans. And I felt my heart drop to my stomach. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jordan, and welcome back to another Jordan video. Welcome back to Starbies and Stories. So if you're new here and you don't know what this is, basically every episode of Starbies and Stories, I try a new Starbucks drink and I tell a story like a juicy story a school story or not a school story it's just a juicy story today's story is really good and it's about a first period story and it's I got my first period on the school bus so before we get into that though I'm gonna tell you guys the Starbucks of the week a cinnamon toast crunch frappuccino and it's so good. I love this drink so much. It's one of my go-tos every time. It's just a vanilla green frappuccino, but you add three pumps of cinnamon dulce and add a cinnamon dulce top. And it's so good. I'm going to try it right now. It's just so cinnamony. It's like the right amount of cinnamon. I get a lot of questions to do like a period story time or a first period story. And... I thought that this week's like story was so perfect because I get a lot of questions to do so. You guys love me talking about periods and just being open about it. So like I said, this week's um, story is about getting my first period on the bus. So this one is really juicy and there's some drama going on so let's just get right into it. So it all started when I first wake up. So I wake up and nothing seems wrong except my stomach is like hurting. It's not like hurting like I have to throw up hurting but it's just like it, it, it doesn't feel good so I'm just I get up and I get ready for school I brush my teeth I have breakfast and then before I leave for school I decided to tell my mom that my stomach was hurting and she just said like oh just take some Pepto-Bismol if it's not like hurting like you have to throw up then you can still go to school and I regret going to school ever that day but I was like okay I took my Pepto-Bismol I grabbed my backpack and I headed out and I headed out for school. I took the school bus to school and nothing was really going on except my stomach was started to hurt even more. And it just hurt really bad. And I was thinking like, okay, well, maybe it's something I ate last night, but I was trying to think and nothing was out of the ordinary. All I had was spaghetti. So I didn't think like anything was wrong with my food. And I was like, okay, maybe I gotta poop. You know, maybe I gotta do the number two. But it didn't feel like that also. So I'm just on the bus. I'm talking to, with my friends. And then we get to school. And my stomach starts hurting so bad randomly when I'm walking to class. Like, almost so bad where like I fall to the floor. Like, I was hunched over with my stomach. And I decided to go to the bathroom because, like, okay, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm going to throw up or something. And I stayed for the in the bathroom for like five minutes and nothing, you know, happened. My stomach was just hurting really bad and I was really confused and I thought like something bad was happening because I didn't know what was going on at all. So I was like, okay, well, I have to go to class. I grabbed my stuff and I just headed to class and, you know, I sat through class with my stomach kind of hurting. And then I just started getting like headaches and I did not feel good at all. And I had to take this test during school and my stomach was distracting me so much that I literally couldn't focus on the test at all. Because I started going through like all the situations that could happen in life. Like, I'm like, oh my god, what if my stomach explodes? So after my test, I decided, hey, let me go to the nurse just in case. And I went to the nurse and I explained to her, like, my stomach's hurting, but I don't have to poop, um, I don't have to throw up, I don't know what's going on. And she's like, well, I don't really know what I can do for you. You can stay in the nurse's office for a few minutes and see if it gets better. Or you can go to the bathroom if you want to stay there. So I just laid on the, like, nurse bed for a couple of minutes, but then I had to get back to class. So I was like you know what, I'll just go, because my stomach started to hurt a little bit less now, but my head, I had such a bad headache, it was pounding so hard, so I didn't really tell the nurse that, because I was like, what is she going to do about a headache, she can't really do anything about it, so I just 
got up and I went back to class and I'm walking through the hallways and my head is pounding so hard and I feel like it's like it feels like my heart is throbbing in my head like it's going bum 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 and I had no clue what was going on and it just felt like my stomach just passed to my head like just passed along the like pain to my head and I was so confused on why it just like randomly switched my stomach hurting to my head hurting and I was getting so irritated by this. So I'm texting my mom and I'm like, Mom, my stomach's hurting really bad and my head is like now hurting super, super bad. Um, I don't know what to do. And my mom's like, oh, I can come pick you up if you want. And I didn't want to get picked up because I had a group project in my last period and I didn't want, you know, to not be there because I wouldn't get a grade and I would kind of like let my group down so I decided just to stick it through I'll stay to the end so I'm going through all my classes and it's just the same thing happening my stomach's hurting I'm, I'm now I'm feeling like super tired and I don't want to do anything at all and in my last period when I was presenting my project my stomach started hurting in the middle of me talking so I was just like ah! and I and it was hurting so bad and it was so embarrassing because everybody was like looking at me like what's going on with her does she have an alien in her belly or something and it was that was super embarrassing but I got through it so I just so after school I kind of just went to the bus stop and I waited for my bus and nothing was going on I was just like finally I can just go home you know like I can just relax on the couch drink some water drink, have some Pepto-Bismol and everything's gonna be good so I get on the bus and I'm talking to my friends and my stomach starts hurting like really badly and I like it's hurting more than it did at school the whole day and my friends are like are you okay what's going on and I'm like yeah it's fine I'm just having like the stomach flu like I don't know what's going on but I'm fine and so when my friend has to get up to go because her stop was there uh, and I get up and I go to hug her and when I look down there's blood everywhere there's blood on the seat there's blood all over my jeans and I felt my heart drop to my stomach I was so embarrassed and I didn't know like what to do because I didn't know what was happening this whole entire day and now I just have blood leaking everywhere so at first I thought it was dying, I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh no, this is the end. This is the end, I'm dead. But then I was like, oh, it's my period. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't have anything prepared. And then I look behind me and there's all these people out of the back of the bus, mostly boys, who are looking at me, laughing, and they have, and I just like sit back down and I just start crying and I didn't know what to do at all. I'm texting my mom like, mom, I started my period, what do I do? And my mom just says, just go, just um, come home and we'll figure it out. And it was so scary. So I get home and you know, my mom, we do all the period stuff. She gets me pads, she gets me, you know, water, food, and I just go to bed having to deal with my period. And I wake up the next morning and my mom says that, hey, I don't have to go to school because I just started my period. It's my first period. You know, you can miss out on school today. So that's what I do. I'm just staying home, relaxing, and, you know, having some Advils. And then I'm getting texts from some of the friends that weren't on the bus. And they're like, hey, there's this picture of this girl going around on the bus. And look at this. Everybody's trying to, like, find out who it was. And it was a picture of me but nobody could tell it was me because it was only the bottom half and it was just my pants with blood everywhere and everybody was sitting this picture around saying oh my god look at this girl on the bus blah 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 and I was like oh my jaw oh my jaw <laughs> oh my goodness this is me and I didn't want to tell them that it was me because I was like that's so embarrassing so I just say oh my gosh I wonder who this girl is. All my friends are sending me this picture. They're like, look at this picture. It's going around Snapchat. Look at everybody's reposting it. Who is it? Who is it? Do you know who it is? Do you have a clue? And I was just sitting in my bed and I wanted to cry because I felt like, oh my gosh, 
so someone's gonna find out that it's me that someone on the bus is gonna find out it was me and they're gonna post it everywhere and say that it was me so I'm over here stressing crying I don't know what to do I felt so bad because some of my friends were even laughing like like oh my god look at this girl she has blood everywhere and I'm like hey that's me girl and I just felt like really bad and really upset that some people were just trying to like pick on something that was totally normal because yeah it was me but if it was just some random girl and you're sitting this picture around it's just like really rude because it's a normal thing that happens a lot so it t happens to every girl so I was just like really upset and really disappointed in some of my friends for still sending that picture around but, of course, I still didn't say it was me. Akuna Matata! I got it! Why are you belting me? <laughs> Stop! So, when I went back to school, um, you know how school is. Rumors come and rumors go. People find something else to be interested about. So, literally, nobody cared. Nobody was talking about it. But, at lunch, I saw the boys that were on my bus. And they, I saw them look at me. And I looked at them. And... You know, I knew that they were the ones that took the picture and sent it around, and they knew that I knew, and I guess they just didn't want to say anything because they didn't want to get in trouble for sending that picture around, and they knew that they that um, they didn't want anybody to know that it was me, so they didn't say anything, and I didn't say anything. But so we just kind of stared at each other, and we just walked different ways, and nobody just like cared anymore but it was super embarrassing that whole entire thing my uncle says that's the best way to mix things so that was an anonymous subscriber story and I tell you guys each week that I get submitted these stories and I will share them online to everybody so but anonymously because you know privacy is a thing. Thank you so much for all the submissions and I try to get through all of them. I promise you guys that I read every single one but I can't do like all the stories in one week because that would be like a three hour long video and because we got a lot of story submissions and they're all pretty good but I do have to pick and choose and I'm trying to make my way down the list and if you guys want to submit a story just make sure to you can DM me on Instagram or you can use my email down below I'll put it in the description but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment share and subscribe do all that fun stuff all that fun stuff and I'll see you guys next time bye love you Ooh.